Coverage. Autonomous vehicle maker Kodiak AI making its public debut via SPAC today up at the NASDAQ to discuss where the company is headed from here. Let's welcome in our next guest. We've got Don Burnett, CEO of Kodiak AI, joining us. Uh, Don, thank you so much for joining us today. Listen, the appetite seems to be rich right now for companies coming to public markets. We've seen increasing activity this year, whether it's through uh, traditional IPO, SPAC, DSPAC, et cetera. So before we get into one, congratulations on this uh, uh, milestone moment today. Um, but let's take it back a little bit and educate our viewers at home, we have a lot of retail investors on just what your company does. It's autonomous vehicle technology. Tell us a little bit of how you would characterize it. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be here. Uh, Kodiak is an AI powered autonomy company uh, powering the future of transportation, starting specifically with uh, long haul and big rig semi trucks. We're addressing a massive market opportunity that's been challenged for decades with lack of lack of driver supply, uh, increasing costs, increasing safety incidents. And so, you know, we feel that autonomous technology is is here today and, and ready to tackle this massive market. We've now deployed driverless vehicles out on the road. They're in the hands of the customers. Those customers own and operate those trucks uh, themselves. And so this is a really exciting time for us to be entering the market. It feels like a very futuristic time, but it seems like the future is now when we think about this. Because, listen, I had a dream that I was in a vehicle, there was no one in the driver's seat, and it was fine. But when I wake up to reality, that scares me. So it, it, the, the idea here with your business is we're going to see those big rigs on the road without anyone in the driver's seat. Yeah? Am I understanding that right? That's right. But the thing you should realize is that these trucks never get drowsy. They never get drunk. They're always paying attention. They never miss a beat. They mind their own business, driving the speed limit in the right hand lane. They don't cut you off. And so they really are the ideal truck to see on the road. And we think as more people experience the technology driving past it, uh, more people will come around to the idea that these are actually a lot safer on the roadways than the current situation. Okay, they don't cut you off. I like that one. Um, but okay, so I talked about this as if this is very futuristic, but obviously a lot of this is where some of this is happening now. You all have already logged millions of miles. So tell us a little bit about your experience to Jay, um, especially for investors who are evaluating your company and trying to decide, am I going to invest? Well, we've been around for seven and a half years developing our AI solution to, to this issue. And me, myself, I've been working on autonomy for well over 16 years. And so this has been a, a long time coming to reach the inflection point that we have here in 2025, where we finally have driverless vehicles out on the road. This, this has been a coming soon story for so long. And I know investors have kind of been beaten down with that message that autonomy is just around the corner. Well, I'm here to say we actually have driverless vehicles deployed deployed today. They're in the hands of the customers. We're generating driverless revenue. We're scaling our manufacturing and operations, uh, and we're going to be scaling into the future. So I think now is an excellent time to get in. It's very clear that autonomy is the future of transportation, whether that's for passenger ground vehicles, whether that's for big rig trucks. We are working on the future of transportation, and now is an amazing time. Don, let me ask you a little bit more about safety. Uh, you talked about, you know, say you're going to have, you're not going to have the same incidents where you have a driver falling asleep at the wheel. But what about, you know, just kind of malfunctions and technological malfunctions that you have to think about? How does the safety of, you know, the way you all operate compared to, you know, human drivers? Safety is the guiding principle for everything we do and everything we've developed at Kodiak. And so at every level of the system, we have lots of redundancy and backup systems that will kick in if you have any kind of malfunction, whether that is from your sensors. So we have lots of cameras and LIDAR and radar in the vehicle that can double check themselves. We have multiple computers. So if one has an issue, the other one can step in. And then we have redundant actuation, meaning the steering, braking, and throttle uh, and power systems in the vehicle are all fully redundant. So so if any one of the systems uh, were to fail, we have backups that can step in and safely pull the truck over to the side of the road. And we also have 24-7 monitoring of these vehicles. So we can remotely monitor the health and diagnose any issues that happen and then step in to help guide the vehicle if it encounters any problems on the road.
Okay, and let me ask you this, and if I understand this right, um, you all use a driver as a service model, so I feel like we're about to use a new acronym, DAS, like, you know, kind of like yes. software as a service, right? So when you think about that model, how does that, you know, why was that approach versus just, say, selling trucks? Well, we think that this model makes the most sense because it uh, allows us to get recurring revenue. We know investors love the SaaS model. We wanted to emulate the SaaS model to the extent possible. So we don't own the assets. Our customers own the assets. That allows us to be asset light. And we have a, a, an annual or monthly subscription fee that we charge our customers for providing the driver as a service. Uh, so it's recurring revenue that's predictable and extends into the future as we continue to grow and scale up the fleet. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about your customers. I'm seeing that you all had Atlas Energy place this uh, order for 100 trucks. They already run your trucks 24-7 there. What have you learned from customers like Atlas and beyond in terms of how execution is occurring? So to deliver an autonomous product, you really need three big components. I call them the three pillars of autonomy. The first one is the technology, and that's where everybody tends to focus. The second one is really on proving safety, and that's something that Kodiak has done. But the third one is actually delivering a product that works for your customers. And the only way to actually make improvements there is to get the product into the hands of the customers day in and day out, testing it rigorously. So we've been working hand in hand with Atlas over the last six to nine months, actually nine, excuse me, more than nine months. And uh, we've been working on operational efficiency, usability, pain points for the customer, and really ironing out all those details. And that put Kodiak several steps ahead of a lot of companies that are still really focused on the, the technology component of the system. Okay, and Don, let me ask you this. Um, obviously, you know, you could have uh, done things differently and just uh, stayed operating your company the way you were operating. You chose to do a DSPAC. Now, with the funds that you'll receive from coming to public markets, how do you plan to deploy that capital, especially when you think about scaling the company even more? We think this is a great outcome. We're super excited to be partaking in the public markets. We think there's a strong interest for investing in autonomy broadly, and we think autonomy really is the future of transportation. So with the funds that we've raised, we plan to deploy those to scale our fleet, to continue scaling operations for our customers, to continue to push on R&D and expand into other verticals of the transportation space, such as uh, long haul trucking and uh, the defense space and, and other areas where we see huge markets and design desire and need for autonomous technology. Don, when I see one of your trucks on the road, uh, well, I, I guess I won't know because Atlas or somebody else will have the name. I'm, I want to ask if I can hitch a ride, but I don't know if the old thumbs up works anymore. Uh, Don, any final thought you want to leave us with? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the message to take away is that this is no longer a coming soon story, like I said before. Driverless technology is here today. It's in use. Customers are buying it. Customers are excited. And I really believe that autonomy is the future of transportation. All right. I believe you, too, honestly. All right. That's Don Burnett, CEO of Kodiak AI. Thank you so much for joining us today, Don.